YouTube, and this is going to be another episode of Warframe Spy Vault with Herp the Derp. Now, we're, we are here in the, uh, not in the, uh, well, I don't know what to call this room. I don't know. I'm sure the rooms have real names. Oh, gosh. That's bad. Whoa. So when that, whatever this room is called, I think I'll call it the, uh, I'll call it the wrestling room, I guess. Because <laughs> there's this big box, there's this big square of lasers that really look like the ropes on a, on a wrestling ring. So any anyway, rate, normally when this room spawns in, that person is standing right about here walking away from you, so you can easily run up behind them and uh, perform a stealth attack to kill them. Now this room has a couple different ways you can go about it. First of all, there's a... Uh, you can always run down to the middle of the room and kill all the enemies, and then uh, hit, press a button, and I'll show you that button. That turns off all the lasers that you need to be worrying about or you, you can actually press the button beforehand because it's, it's, in a, it's in a location where you can get to it without um, being seen by enemies to turn off the lasers so you can get to the enemies easier. As you saw there, I just uh, shot out a security camera without alerting nearby enemies, so the value of a silent weapon being seen there in the spy missions uh, is much more useful in corporate spy missions than Grenier in my opinion, but you never know. All right, so yeah, so not usually, most people like I said, we'll just hack these panels, walk through the door, kill all the people in the room, and then go straight through the lasers to this little side room here, which I will eventually be able to show you. But I'm going to do this the other way, which involves jumping up to these uh, access hallways up here. And the one thing I've noticed is that no matter how many people are down in this room down here, hello, I rarely see people up in this level. So however many people are down in the wrestling pit, I've seen 20, 30 people on alert sometimes. Hello. It's usually a lot easier to clear out this room up top because, there, as you can see, none of them down there look up. So you just clear out this area up top and then you can either aim glide or you, if these are open, like they are now, so I'll demonstrate that. Oh, maybe not. No. Okay. Like I said, that one never looks up. So yeah, you can do, you can do uh, painfully bad things like I just did there and get away with them. <laughs> oh wow, I cannot do parkour today. Come on, Volbun. I said up, up. There we go. All right. So anyway, so you can easily get across, or if you want. Attack us, and that's we will the counter. Oh, I hope no one saw me there. That's the access panel down there, but sometimes you also have to be careful, sometimes there's also, yes, there's also a camera in this room, so I have to figure out a way to hit that with a weapon that has some of the most uh, fall-off and uh, inaccuracy of any thrown weapon in the game. There we go. Thank you, Spira, for having a different throwing animation for both of right hands. Anyway, once we get around to the other room now, without any of the people, enemies in that room seeing me, it looks like none of them did, then there will always be a door open. And this particular door takes me straight into the vault without having to hack a single thing. You're on the sensors now. You've been detected. Oh, someone saw me, but vault alarm slam gone off. Don't know why that's, that's happening. Anyway, let's see if I can hit this in time while I'm still talking to you guys. There we go. Ah, oh, level up Vobin, yes! No Ooh, free energy! Alright, it looks like there was a security camera here too, see? So that's why another reason why jumping down into the middle of, the, of that uh, room full of enemies just is not feasible a lot of times. Um, if you come if it starts just in that left room over there and you come around to the right, you'll have this grating open instead of that back grating there, and then you'll have to hack this access panel here, which will open the door, so you can then go in to this area. But the, using this route ensures that no one out here, no one out here ever looks this way, except for apparently right now, because you know they don't want, they want to make me look like a fool after telling you guys no one looks this way. But honestly, when there's still lasers up, no one ever looks this way, and no one ever looks up. They're all patrolling, looking at the sides of the room, looking back. Anyway, so the other thing I was gonna say is, uh, if you do go through those doors there, there's plenty of cover to hide behind. So you can, for example, go through that door, you could roll behind these, stay behind cover, roll the next one, 
And eventually the goal is to get back up over here. Oh, not there. Okay, so I'll demonstrate that properly. So if you actually go underneath the stairs, this is what I was trying to do, then you can get back over to this side of the room very quickly. And if you move fast enough, you can disable all the room's lasers. I believe that that actually just disables the wrestling box. It doesn't actually disable this set. But regardless, it gives you makes it much easier for you to fight the people in the room. And then usually you can juke that set of lasers very easily. They don't, they don't trigger very often. But like I said, I always go around the upper edge because it's easier. And in fact, there's even more to the room than anyone sees if you just go around the bottom edge. Because if you go up top, you can even go all the way up to another level here. See, there's... Oh, I almost didn't make that jump. There's an entire extra level if you wanted to go across this area. I don't know why. But it's, just, it's just here. But... <laughs> so you can even go all the way up there to avoid enemies on the top level if there happened to be some like there were in that instance. Alright, that is everything for the wrestling room. Herp's derp out.